Corporate now on our way to Atosha. The Rovis Rail Train coming through here it comes here comes the Rovis rail train again Got a better position now. Hello there. How are you? Good. I'm fine, then, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Somebody been following me all the way. Everywhere we go. From town I left town, somebody following me. And he's right. He's not even driving. Where are you driving from? Today. Today. From Spitzkop. Spitzkop. Yeah, Spitzkop. Uh -huh. And then you're going to and from the Tosha back to Bintuk, eh? So we're here for 13 nights here. Yeah. Well, in, in the Tosha. We're doing all the camps, eh? Yeah. A A Douglas. A and R Douglas. Okay. From South Africa, yeah. And, uh, do you have any drone? No. No drone. No drones, eh? Because you can't fly them yet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's you fire out. No. Why not? Because you're gonna keep me safe. What if the ram come and attack you? No, they don't do that. Huh? They don't do that. Uh -huh. uh -uh. Even elephants. Even elephants. Oh sometimes they attack your car, eh? <laughs> And the car is silver, no? Silver, yeah. And it's a Toyota. Toyota, yeah. Thank you. Is that it, eh? Have a good day. Thank you very much, eh? Bye bye, eh? Right, we're just outside Akakuya. Campsite. Hmm. Here's our first turn in the zebra. It's now 1435. In 900 meters, turn left onto Twaspore Gravel. There's a big herd of zebra. Hmm. I think they've probably all just been down to drink at the waterhole. Or on their way to the waterhole.
hut. We've arrived at the campsite. Just going to go and book in. At the office. At the office. I keep a view stand. Yeah. We'll go out the other side, I think, eh? Mm -hmm. Very busy, very busy, very busy. This is the Okakuyo water hole uh, in front of the Okakuyo campsite. We've just arrived today and there is piles and piles of abdom stalks. And saying that when we left uh, Uppington to come here as well, there were on the road there were thousands of abdoms just on the grass and I think it was because of all the small hatchings of the locusts or grasshoppers. Crickets crickets whatever they were after there were just piles and piles of these guys flying in the air on the ground on both sides of the road campsite at Okakuya we've got a tree luckily we got were able to get that we've been down to the water hole nothing exciting except the sun is there I wanted to try and get a time left but of course there's the 24 hour lights that they have on there, so I think that will mess it up. Yeah. I'm enjoying a cold beer and roses, I'm enjoying a cold Coke with some ice in it. There are loads of zebra down there. No, there were, and just, just looking at zebra the. Zebra of all the beers, back. At the water hole. Abdoms talks. Yeah, all those abdoms and just how green it is around there. Yeah, it's never been that green. We've never had any mm -hmm. grass there, it's always been just stone. Never saw any elephants there. No. And no elephant poos. So no. I don't think an elephant are coming north. down to this water hole, eh? No, they've gone north. Okay. Right, we're going for our first morning game drive in Natasha. We woke up to a little bit of a thunder and lightning this morning and like a little bit of a drizzle so we we didn't leave too early. It's now 7.38 and the park opens at 7.05. But yeah. we heard... Heard lion lions. last night and hyena. And something else. Yeah, well, not quite sure what it was, but yeah. This is looking out onto Tosha Pan um, from the little hill behind Okondeka or above Okondeka. Waterhole. Waterhole, yeah. It's just uh, so different to when we've been here before. When we've been here before, this this water hole here has just been alive with animals, from elephants to lion to giraffe, zebra, whatever. 
but because of all the rain that we've uh, Namibia's had, there's water all over the place, so it's not a place to come to <laughs> if it's a wet season. Uh, I think when it's dry, because of the water, all the animals congregate here. how green it is. Lots of abdom stalks. sunrise this morning, a little bit of cloud, a little bit of rain last night but looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. I don't know what chick that is. That's mum there, whoops. It's a picture of mum. Oh, there goes baby. <laughs>
just busy leaving uh, the Kukuya. We're heading up to Halali. We're supposed to be going to early Fonsuris, but there's been so much rain there and the roads are so full of water. We thought we'd go up to Halali instead. Uh, game viewing has been quite disappointing this site compared to what we've had before here. Uh, before it's really really been good. This time the game is very sparse. Lots of springbuck. A uh, couple of hot bears. Yeah, a couple, couple of zebra. Of we haven't seen the abundance of game that we've seen before. Anyway, I suppose that's we're not in a zoo, so that's par for the course. Par for the course, yeah. It's looking out onto a Tosha pen in the distance. Just driving into Halali uh, on the way up from uh, Okakuya. The game was really sparse. Nothing even to take a photograph of that was close to the road. Our campsite at Halali. Uh, Alali's got a lot of trees, so normally you can get uh, shade. There's normally always shade available somehow. So, not a bad campsite. Wash up area, kitchen. And there's hot water here. Hot water is available. The campsite at the moment is very, very empty. There's actually only three or four vehicles here. I might fill up this afternoon. But like I was saying earlier, the game in the area at the moment is very sparse. Eh? We believe there is more up at Amatoni, which we'll be heading up to in three days' time. Something on the technical side. This Makita blower has been so handy uh, on our trip here to Namibia because of all the dust so every place we've been able to get 220 supply I've been able to plug in and blow my caravan all the dust off the back where it sucks it in onto the top and then also in my Hilux in the back not a lot of dust but I'm able to blow it out and blow the inside of the car out it's a really handy piece of equipment. What I should have done, instead of buying the 220 one, I should have bought the battery operated one like Rose told me to. And I said, no, the batteries give trouble. So in hindsight, I think I would have probably gone for the battery one because then when you have no power, you can still use it to blow things out with. Really, really good. The bush larva, and I think most caravans, when you're going on dirt roads, sucks up the dust onto the back area. The bush larva here, in some places we had like a centimeter of dust lying on the back. So it was really handy to blow that off. Eh? Your copies is looking really 
nice and green. Hortebius lying on the edge of the pan. Thank you. 